Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Free CAD Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to perform mirror and array operations in Free CAD. And here is a brief illustration. Over here you can see a sketch of a rectangular plate with four slots, one, two, three, four, and with six circles. I constructed this example by first just creating a simple slot over here, then mirroring this slot to create the second one. That is, I mirrored the first slot with respect to this y-axis. Then I performed the second mirror operation. That is, I selected this slot, this slot, and I mirrored these two slots with respect to the horizontal axis to obtain these two slots over here. Then, over here, to construct these six circles, I first constructed the first one and then I performed the array operation to construct all six of them. After you perform the mirror operation, you can simply close this 2D view and you can go back in the 3D view and over here you can do all sorts of operations. For example, you can pad everything to create this nice shape over here. And you can see, you can do it with a single mouse click and obtain relatively complex 3D design. There are at least two approaches for performing these operations. I just illustrated the first approach where we start from the two-dimensional sketch and then we perform mirror and array inside of the two-dimensional sketch and then we extrude. Sometimes people prefer to do other way around, that is, they will create a three-dimensional shape with one slot and one circle and then they will do array and then they will do mirror. However, in this tutorial, we will start from the two-dimensional sketch, since I think it's more instructive to do things like that and cleaner. Before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. I created this tutorial for complete beginners. Consequently, I will spend more time explaining some basic things about FreeCAD. For those of you who are more advanced users, you should keep in mind this and be patient. Okay, so let's start from beginning. First of all, open FreeCAD and over here click on Create New to create our empty document. First, I will explain how to pan, rotate, and zoom the view. Before you do that, make sure that CAD option is selected over here. Next, for illustration, I will create a simple 3D object to illustrate how to manipulate the view. Click here and then click on Part Design. And over here, expand this option and click on Additive Box and click on OK. To pan the view, that is to translate the view, you need to simply press and hold the middle mouse button and move it left, right, up or down. Then, to rotate the view, press and hold the middle mouse button and the right mouse button and you will be able to rotate. Then, to zoom the view, you need to roll forward and backward your middle rolling mouse button. And here's how we do it. Okay, now that we know how to perform basic operations, let's start from scratch. First of all, let's select this box. We will not need this box, so let's just simply erase this box. You can click and press delete, and then let's click here on model. Click here on body and let's create our first sketch. To do that, you simply need to click here to create the sketch. Then you need to select the plane. Let's select this plane. And in this plane, we will first construct our rectangle. To construct a rectangle, click here and click on centered rectangle. Select the center at the origin and Here's our rectangle. Let's, for example, do this. Okay. 
First, let's explain how to mirror objects. Over here, I will create a simple slot. However, you can also choose any other shape. To create a slot, click here and create a slot. For example, the slot can look like this. Here it is. Now, after you created the slot, don't forget to exit from the slot mode. You need to press escape. Our next goal is to mirror the slot with respect to the vertical axis. That is with respect to this axis. And you will see this is super simple. To do that, simply select the slot. Make sure that all the edges are selected. Then select this axis and then over here you'll see this option, symmetry, and read what's written over here. Create symmetry geometry with respect to the last selected line or point, and this is very important. Keep in mind what we did. First, we selected the slot, that is, this is the object that we want to mirror, and then next selection is the object that is a line or a point with respect which we want to mirror. So let's click here and the magic will happen. Here it is. Here's our second slot. Amazing. Next, let's repeat this operation. However, this time, let's select this slot, this slot, and let's mirror with respect to the horizontal axis. Here's the first one, and here's the second one. To select things, you just you don't need to press any key because any selection will add objects to the selected group. This is in contrast to some other CAD software. However, here you don't need to press Ctrl or Shift to select. You just select and keep on selecting and the group will increase. And then next we need to select the mirror line and then again here and bang. Here it is. Simple as that. Now that we know how to perform the mirror operation, let's learn how to perform the array operation. Over here, for illustration, I will construct a simple circle here. For example, over here. Radius doesn't matter and location doesn't matter. Okay, now I want to create an array out of this circle. And for example, I want to have six and four circles. I want to have six columns and four rows. Now again, don't forget to do this. Currently, you are in the circle mode. Press escape to get out of the circle mode. Then select the circle, make the selection, and over here you will see this option, a rectangular array. So let's select this. And over here, we need to select the number of columns. I think I said six columns and how many rows? I actually forgot, maybe four. Okay, here you have several options. Do you want to have equal vertical and horizontal spacing? I don't want to have. Constrain inter-element separation. This is very important and I'm not going to clone. I'm just going to select this and bang. Now over here, you need to select one of the distances between the elements, you can either select the horizontal or vertical distance. We're going to change this later on, so it doesn't matter. However, what I want to do, I want this distance to be horizontal. So I will press and hold control, and then I can move along the straight line. And let's, for example, have the second element to be here, and here it is. Now, is this what we wanted to do? Most likely not. We need to adjust several things over here. We need to adjust the spacing. First of all, let's start with the horizontal spacing. To adjust the horizontal spacing, click here and simply adjust it. For example, let's do 14. Let me zoom out and see it's 14. We can do more. Let's do, for example, I don't know, maybe even 18. Is 18 going to be good? Yes, it's going to be good. And then over here, we need to adjust the vertical spacing. Again, you need to find this line, 
dimension line, double click here, and let's do, for example, 10. And here it is. Good. Our next task is to move this to the proper location. How to do that? To move our array, simply select the array. And over here, let me see, I forgot to select this part. Here it is. Or let's be careful to select everything. Now the issue over here that I created is that this array is very close to this slot. So that's my issue. However, we can see that we can still select everything. Now we need to find the move option. If you click over here, you have several options. You have clone, copy, and move. So let's move and let's just specify where we want to move this entry. We want to move it here. And here it is. Now we moved it here. Now it's not centered. We can center it and spend more time centering. However, I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, now let's go back to the three-dimensional plane. Click on close and you're here. And let's simply extrude everything. Simply click on the sketch and then to extrude, simply click this and let's select, for example, four millimeters and click OK and here it is. This can be, for example, some base plate for mounting something. It can be used in optics, etc. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video tutorial.